an eight-year-old girl who received the heart of another little girl. The heart transplant was successful, but something happened almost immediately. She began having a dream, and it was a bad dream, over and over and over again. So the doctor set her up with a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist recognized immediately this wasn't a typical dream. It had the characteristics of a memory. So they brought in a forensic artist so that the girl could detail to the artist all of the clues and the memories that she was having as she was going through this dream. And she said the dream always begins at night and she's in the woods, she's in a forested area and she's running very fast because someone is chasing her. And she trips and she falls and the man catches up with her and he begins to assault her. He looks her in the eyes and he said very specific words to her. She recounted these words to the forensic artist and then the man killed her, he took her life. The artist now has an image, a rendering from the girl's memory in the dreams of the man that she saw and the artist now has the words that the man was speaking as he was taking this girl's life. And this information was put out to the authorities and it wasn't long before they found a man that matched the description. And when they brought him in, under questioning, very quickly, he broke down and he admitted that he had actually killed the girl. And here's the key. When the interrogators were asking him the details, he recounted the very words to them that the young girl had shared with the artist that were revealed to her in her dream. It was based on this evidence that the man is convicted, sentenced, and he is now serving time for the murder of this young girl. And it is only possible because the memory of the girl who was killed was preserved in the cells of her heart that are now in the body of the new recipient. That is how real the memory is in our heart.